Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. I'm at least getting better from uh, Homa by Mekwekini Sumbwa Sana, and I want to thank God for your prayers. This is the only platform where we speak nothing but the reality itself. Merry Christmas to each and every fan here celebrating Boxing Day. May God really be with you and may God bless you. I want to thank those who have sent their contribution towards the Mchango, Yakanisa, Nitakua Nayo next week. Why do you want to remove those wooden chairs? We are in the air of plastic and they charge us a vision. Kwamba, zile plastic chairs, away from using them in church, wanaweza kuzitumia kwa function zingine outside the church. That makes them easily movable than those bulky wooden chairs. I want to thank those who have sent their contribution. I want to mention one name for the sake of your prophecy. Henry, I received your 700. May God bless you so, so, so much. Concepta, I received your cash, uh, 100. Uh, we have uh, Farida, I received your cash. We have uh, Anastasia, I received your 700 shillings. And we have Pauline from the US, I received your 4,000 shillings. God bless you so, so, so much. I'm raising 70,000. Na kama mungu atakuguza, kindly uh, uh, support. Back to the Kenyan politics. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaka Sungura, it's high time, you know, mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda ukweli. It's high time that we put politicians into task on what they speak. And this is what I've been advocating since I started this channel. You know, Kenyans, we are fond of being lied to each time, every minute. And politicians have learned our tactics. Kenyans easily forget. When politicians learn that Kenyans will easily forget, they use that weak point to manipulate and brainwash our minds with their fake promises, with their fake um, utterances in public. We are in the era of social media. And you know, Social media doesn't forget. I want to take you back a little bit to the year 2020. The year 2020, um, let's say the year 2019, 2020, and 2021, and part of 2022. These are the years that William Ruto played victim. Playing victim means... He could lie to the public that he has been chased out of government in favor of political sympathy. And Kenyans fell into the trap, right? So he could come in public and tell people, I am a Christian, I am a pastor, I am an evangelist, and I do not play any politics in church. Why was he doing this in those years? He was doing this to lock Raila Odinga from politicking in church. Little did he know that a time is coming when us political activists and analysts will recall and unravel this kind of videos. I remember very well in 2020 at an AIC church. William Ruto categorically spoke to the public and said, you know, you've been in Kenya and you saw this. This is not new. Wakati Ruto wa campaign, William Ruto was very keen in politicking in church. Very keen. Alikuwa nafanya mkutano kanisani, then after walking out of church, anafanya rally outside. This was seeking sympathy from Christians. Just pretending to Christians that yes, I respect the church. But I want to talk to the heart of Christians. This is now the time you are supposed to know the truth behind the person you've been accommodating all along. Why? He played innocent while seeking votes. He played Christian while seeking votes. He portrayed himself as a person who understands church doctrines. 
he portrayed himself as a person who respects the podium. That a principle that guides him is we are not supposed to play politics in church. That is what he used to do during the campaigns. And in almost, in almost all the churches they visited, because he wanted to play holier than Raila, he could tell the church that I know this is the church, I don't want to play politics, come and see us to Kutane Palenji. This is what he did. And this was a strategy to woo Christians and to convince them to think that yes, this is one of our own we found who understands church doctrines. I want to take you back to William Ruto's sentiments back in 2020. And this is what he said. I na maaskofu na viongozi wa kanisa kusema tuendeni kanisani tumuabudu mungu tusipeleke mambo yetu ya siyasa kule kanisani. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard William Ruto categorically saying this is the church and we are not supposed to politic. He convinced you as Christians you elected him. He is now the president and there's nothing you can do. Now, after taking the Bible, he is now the official president. Sasa, when he comes to church, it's all about politics. It's a sad reality. Now you know the kind of person you are dealing with. Why is Ruto politicking in church when he is the president? When he was not the president, he could respect the podium. But today as we speak, the president goes to church on Sunday services just to respond to Rai Laudinga. All his speeches in church is about politics. He was in church yesterday. You know yesterday was Christmas and Sunday. He was in church. I listened to his speech. It was all about politics. The kind of pretense the kind of lies, the kind of deceit we are experiencing is on another level. He played innocent, he played Christian just to vote for him. You have now voted for him. But because you supported him, you can never see any problem with him politicking in church. I remember it reached a time when Musalem and Dabadu were chased from church and were denied an opportunity when they were on the other side. Why? Because pastors felt they were politicians in church. But today, the same evangelist, the same pastor, the same bishop, the same angel, the same little Jesus who could see others as Satan when speaking politics in church? Today, he is politicking right at the synagogue. And pastors are quiet. Why? He's the president. My bishops were mechoka. Seattle were mechoka. My bishops are comfortable with it. I saw some bishops even laughing. They're happy with it. They see nothing wrong. Why? Because they supported him. Wanapiga siyasa kanisani. Mabishop wa kiangalia. Mabishop wa kikondoa macho. And they're supporting it. And they're comfortable with it. The kind of pretense in our churches is on another level. May God forgive us. The kind of pretense. I remember. Politicians wengine wakifungi wa microphones in church. Because the same pastors felt that 
There should be no politics in church. But today, they are accommodating politics in church. Why? Because whoever is politicking, anapeana sadakanzito kwa kanisa. Bisho bawezi yonge? Makasisi wamenyamaza kwa nini? They are selling the church at the expense of fat sadaka. They are selling a church doctrine in favor of sadaka. They are compromising the church doctrine in favor of yuji sadaka. Na mungu wa wasame. I didn't mean to offend you, but whatever we are witnessing is really sad and need to be condemned by all means possible. Mumeanza kukubalia siyasa kanisani na kanisa limeanza kutumika kama ukumbi wa chuki na siyasa. It's sad. Makasisi wamelala kwa sababu wanapewa sadaka nzitu. Makasisi wamelala kwa sababu huyu ni rice. Hamtaki kumwambia ukweli. Sasa mumekunja mikia, mumemwachia podium kanisani ndipo anapiga siasa. God will judge you harshly bishops. God will judge you harshly pastors. God will judge you harshly reverends. I have warned you. The decision is yours. This is William Rutos yesterday sentiments right in front of bishops in church. Mimi na hawa tuliochaguliwa na wao tunangangana na hii ya serikali. Mimi na furai pia wale ndugu zetu wa upinzani wanangangana pia na ile ya upinzani. Nimeona wanakazana wanajaribu kutukosoa hiyo ni mzuri. Wametupatia max hapo hiyo ni sawa. So tunaendelea namna hiyo. Furaha yangu ni kwamba tuko na upinzani ambaye inafanya kazi ya wananchi. Kujaribu pia kusema ile maneno haijafanyika, kujaribu kusema ile maneno wangetarajia na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hawa ndugu zetu wa upinzani tuko tayari kabisa mufanye yenu sisi tufanye yetu ndio Kenya iweze kwenda mbele. Ile ya zamani ya kuunganisha upinzani pamoja na serikali ndio imetuletea hii hasara kubwa tumepata mpaka mambo ikaharibika tukawa ni nchi ya madeni tukawa ni nchi ya njaa so ni mzuri kuwa na watu wengine wa kupiga makelele upande mwingine so hiyo ni mzuri sana na mimi nataka tukubaliane namna hiyo tuendelee pamoja kwa sababu sisi wote tunawafanyia wananchi wa taifa la Kenya kazi kuwa upinzani si makosa ni iko kwa katiba so tunaendelea namna hiyo no problem so Asanteni sana mimi nataka niwashukuru sana